Hi ladies! So, the first video we're going to talk about prepping your canvas. Um, <laughs> I know that sounds really silly, but honestly, you know, I feel like makeup is kind of an art form and so why not? Why not call your face a canvas? So you definitely want to take care of it. I've got my notes here. I'm going to have my notes handy for every video today. Um, but I think the first thing that's super important, oh, I feel like I got an eyelash somewhere. Okay. First thing that's super important is washing your face. You know, some people, myself included in the past, um, don't really like the hassle or the time it takes to wash your face twice a day. It's really important though, especially in the morning before you put your makeup on, you really want to make sure that you get all that extra whatever off your face. Um, there are several different reasons for this. One, you know, when you're sleeping at night, um, your skin comes in contact, your face comes in contact with your pillow. And there could be a lot of things on your pillow. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> there could be a lot of things on your pillow, including build up from the day before, or if you did sleep in your makeup the night before, you know, there's stuff that you can't see that's going to get on your face and it's going to act as a barrier between your skin and your makeup. And you want to eliminate as much of that barrier as possible. So wash your face before you put on your makeup. And I definitely recommend washing it at night too, because that will only further um, give you a cleaner canvas. Um, and also, you know, our products, the Cenogens products, work best when they're layered with our products. And I'm, I'm sure all of you have done this too. I know I definitely have because I'm like a total makeup novice and I feel like I'm just now starting to really learn about a lot of this stuff. But when somebody creates a makeup line, that line is designed to be used with itself. So rather than cherry picking and like going like, oh, I'm gonna take this great eyeshadow from this line and this great foundation from this line and this, you know, it's not actually meant to work that way. So you actually want to buy your makeup all in one line because it works so well together. It's designed to work together. Um, and I can testify this stuff, our Senegin stuff, works amazingly well when it's all used together and I am finally um, for about maybe a month to two months now only using all Senegin's products on my face and I feel like my makeup has never lasted this long like it's just phenomenal so I highly recommend sticking to one line um, another like surprising thing to learn about um, prepping your canvas, shave your face. I know, let that sink in for a little bit, shave your face. I was kind of intimidated when I first heard that, but I tried it myself because I, I feel like, you know, if you don't try it, you, you can't knock it till you try it, you know? And honestly, it's not going to make your hair grow in darker or thicker. I have like super peach fuzz, light, white, blonde, baby hairs all over my face. And I mean, even though you probably wouldn't be able to see it, I did have, you know, a pretty good little mustache going of like white baby hairs, but you, so like nobody ever saw them. But when you're putting on your makeup, especially like my sideburns over here and like the stuff up here around my forehead, it's like a catch-all for, for makeup. And so I would put on my makeup and get this huge thick like line going down the side of my face, looked like I was painting a mask on or something. and. Shaving your face eliminates that. And I mean, I shave as much as you can. You can get a men's razor. I actually have like a, a women's razor that I use, but I'm thinking of going and getting a, a men's razor to use specifically for shaving my face. Um, but it, not only does it make your skin feel smoother, it's also exfoliating and it helps get rid of even more debris and junk that's built up on your face. So it's like really clearing your face of anything that's going to keep your makeup on, uh, keep your makeup from going on smoothly. So I know, super intimidating, but it works real well. And your face feels like super soft. Like I actually just shaved it like right before I made this video. So there you go. <laughs> um, another thing you really want to do, especially if you're washing your face twice a day and before any makeup prep, and this is something that I used to be terrible at, 
you want to moisturize your face. Especially, and I want all you ladies out there with oily skin to hear me, especially if you have oily skin. Why? Here's why. When you're washing your face, you're actually stripping your skin of moisture. And, you know, washing your face is a good thing. I don't want you to hear me say that it's not. But if you're not replenishing that moisture into your skin, your body is going to go into overkill trying to replenish your skin. So those of you with oily skin, if you aren't using a moisturizer, your skin is going to be increasingly more oily because your body is freaking out and they're like, oh no, we're dry. We gotta pump out more oil, more oil, more, more oil. And I've noticed in myself, I don't have oily skin, but I have noticed that proper moisturizer has actually kept my skin from getting super oily. Like it's not nearly as oily as it used to be, but um, before I was using non senegens products. So it's another win for that. Um, and uh, you wanna make sure that you remove any cosmetics from your face really, really well. We actually have a remover for the cosmetics. You can see my, my stash back there. This is our Foops color remover. It's great for removing any of our makeup. And at the end of the night, what I do, you, you just kind of shake this guy up and it activates it. Pour a little bit in your hand. It's really, you don't need much. It goes a long way, like most everything that we have. Um, rub it in your hands, rub it all over your face. I even go down my eyes. Um, I don't really try to rub it in my eyes, but to get my eyeshadow off, I go there too. And then wash your face with a um, warm towel or yeah, hot cloth or whatever. Just get it all off. Um, and then go additionally wash your face. You really want to make sure, especially with our products, because they don't budge. I have gone into the shower without using our Foops remover and like washed my face with, you know, our the Senegens 3 in 1 cleanser. And I've still seen like little pieces of makeup on it. So really the, the Foops is it's great stuff. It'll really make sure that you're getting all of that stuff off of your face. Um and it's just another way to make sure there's nothing in between your makeup and your skin. You really want your makeup to be touching your skin, not something else, not oil, not, you know, grease, debris, I don't know, <laughs> whatever there is going to be, you know, you want your makeup to be layering onto your skin. Um, and another thing to consider is that our makeup has been specially formulated to help heal your skin. And you can see I have some breakouts here, but, um, and I'm really excited about these because this will actually help show you how well our makeup covers. Um, but uh, especially powder makeups, they, they actually strip the moisture out of your skin, probably because powder kind of like tends to soak that stuff up. Um, our makeup is not powder. We do have a powder, and I'll sometimes use this, or pretty much every day use this. This is our natural um, translucent loose powder, but I'll use this as just kind of a way to set the makeup that I've already put on my face. But that's really the only powder we have. Everything else is creamed powder, and all of our makeup has the Cineplex complex in it. Cineplex is a kinetic enzyme, and it actually helps move skin cells, new skin cells, to the surface faster, which in, turns, in turn helps your skin appear brighter, helps it appear younger, and it helps get rid of wrinkles and, and such like that. So, I mean, it's, it's really good. And the cool thing is, is that even our uh, makeup remover, I believe, has, yes, it says with Cineplex, even this has Cineplex in it. So, that's amazing. Like this is not going to harm your face taking using a remover. I know a lot of times when we think of a remover, we think of like harmful things that are gonna take, uh, strip our skin. This has the Cineplex complex in it. It's not going to strip your skin. It is still helping your skin. Like literally everything we produce is designed to help you and you will feel it in your skin. Like when you put on your makeup, you're gonna notice, wow, my skin feels so soft. So just highly recommend our products. Um, that's all I have to say about prepping your canvas. The next thing we're going to talk about is concealing and highlighting. 
<laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit.